Hello future engineers and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to get started inside of Onshape. So, oh, oh, I'm just trying to adjust volume levels here. So let's get started by drawing this part in Onshape. So this is our very first Onshape tutorial. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the iPad. So, let me real quick make this full screen. So Onshape is this new app that we have installed and when you click it open, if you weren't already in a document, it's going to bring you to the main menu of this. Which will give you your Onshape recently opened, created by me, shared by me, public tutorials and trash. So we want to go into my Onshape. And then you can see all the shapes that you've previously done, but if you haven't created one, there's a little plus sign right here. We always want to make sure that we are titling our documents just so we can find them easier later. So for this one, I am going to call this practice one. And then I'll click OK. And now I'll open up practice one. All right. So inside of practice, we get what are known as our view planes. We've got our front, top, right view. We've got those once again over here described in what is known as our model tree. And we have a view cube that allows us to move around. We have two main commands, one for sketching and one for 3D modeling. So basically 2D drawings and 3D drawings. We have those two different commands. So, for this one, we are going to first look at our part. Our part over here is a cube that has four tall over here and one wide, and then two or two wide and one tall in this part. It's just this L shape. So in order to do this, we want to draw one of the profiles of this shape and then extrude that. So let's go back to our on shape. When we are creating a new profile in Onshape, we always want to start with our sketch tool, which are, which is this right here, that little pen. So I'll click on that, and it's going to ask me to select a plane, a face, a surface to sketch on. And we have three to start. We have our front, top, and right. For this one, I'm going to select my front one. I just click right on it, and then it gives me all these commands. Now, it's a little hard to draw on this because it's at an angle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take two fingers, and I'm going to tap on that sketch plane, and I'm going to choose that very bottom option. View normal to sketch plane. That means you wanna look right at the sketch plane. So on the plane, we have an origin. That origin is that little dot right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our rectangle tool. We are going to press onto the screen and hold down. When you do, we get a little marker that allows us to align this right to our origin. We wanna start it right at the origin. Then the next spot where we press is going to be where the other ends of this rectangle go. So I'll press over here. And now we have the start of our shape. I'm gonna choose that rectangle tool again. So I'm then going to start at the origin and then another one over here. We have the basic shape of our sketch, but we don't know if this is the right size yet. So we wanna make sure that we're adding dimensions. How we add dimensions, we go to our sketch tool once again, and then down here, this is our dimension tool. So I'll select the dimension tool, and then I'm going to select the lines that I want to dimension. This line, I will move it out over here. I'm going to press again. This was a dimension of four. You can see it automatically sizes up everything. I'm going to dimension from here to here. That has a dimension of one. Then we've got from here to here. This is also, I'm going to move my dimension just by clicking and dragging it, a dimension of one. And then from here to here, we are going to have a dimension of two, or rather three. Three is our full dimension that way. Cool. So now it may look like we are done, but there's just one little thing that I want to throw in here. We've got some extra lines, and there's a command that will allow us to remove those. 
that command is known as trim. So when we select trim, we just go up to the lines we don't want anymore and we cut those out and now they're gone. So once we have finished our sketch and we think this looks right, we're gonna hit our check sign and then we will go to our menu over here and we are going to choose our extrude option. Now it's going to once again have us select a face or sketch to region or region to extrude. So we want to select that sketch that we just did over here. Oh, I can also tilt it so we can get a little better view. We just click and drag. You can also use our view cube over here and say our isometric. If you remember, our isometric view gives us our perfectly aligned 120 degree angles. So I'm going to select my sketch over here in the feature tree. So I will call that over there. And now I can click and drag this and it'll give me a preview of what we want our depth to be. Our depth on this is going to be a depth of three. Now we can click our check mark. There we go. That's our part. Now a way to check and see if you have done this all correctly, we can click our properties up in the top corner over here. It looks like a little scale. And when you click mass properties, it's going to say no entity is selected. So I'm going to go down to my parts tree over here and I'll click part one. And then it's going to tell me the volume and surface area of my part. That is it. That's a very quick tutorial on how to get started in Onshape and do our very first component. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please reach out. I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.